Hi, I'm Benjamin Oberman from Film Festival Flix here at Scandinavian Locations, and I'm here right now with Sigmund, who's the film commissioner from Norway. Hi, Sigmund, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. Great, well, we're extremely excited. I love Norwegian film. Um, everything I see makes me want to come and visit there, so can you talk a little bit about the amazing landscape and, and, how it, and what's accessible to filmmakers from around the world? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the amazing landscape is what really drives international productions coming to Norway. Uh, I'm based in, in Bergen on the west coast, in the, in the fjord region. Um, and uh, yeah, and it's really accessible area to shoot. It's, it's easy to go from the cities into the wilderness. And, and we, we like to say that our local communities, you know, they roll out the red carpet for visiting film crews. And, um, and it's really easy. It's just uh, to point and shoot. You don't need really uh, a lot of permits to, to get access to the, to the, to the nature. And, uh, a good place to film. Well, that's great. Well, I, I, we, we do a lot also with the mountain adventure film space. And one of the things I know from my own thing is that a lot of the greatest locations in the world sometimes take months or years to find and know about. So is there people who can take these filmmakers and show them so that they can go immediately to these beautiful places that they would want to shoot, where, as you said, all you have to do is turn on your camera and it's yours to screw up? <laughs> yeah, we, we, I'm here in Los Angeles now to, to meet and build relationships with filmmakers. and. Uh, when I come across interesting projects, I invite them to come over to Norway and to see uh, the area for themselves uh, and uh, to try to connect producers to build co-productions and also to, um, yeah, to find uh, the most unique locations uh, for that particular project. That's great. Now, when you talk about co-productions, does that mean that there's uh, funding available to help with their production in addition to just showing them the locations? Yeah, there is, there is. We have, um, like, here at this show for a few years ago, I met um, director and producer of Sunshine Superman, which is now a U.S.-Norwegian uh, co-production, so documentary feature. Uh, recently won Best Director at, um, at Portland Film Festival. Yeah, no, absolutely, I, and it, it premiered at Toronto International Film Festival, and Magnolia Pictures is releasing it theatrically. Yeah, yeah and it got rave reviews, and... Uh, um, they managed to access both uh, the National Film Fund in Norway as well as the Regional Film Fund uh, in our region as well as another Regional Film Fund in Norway. So actually three sources of, uh, of public funding from Norway went into that U.S. Uh, directed uh, project. There's a great Norwegian surfing film called North of the Sun that we are one of the distributors of. And I know that the NFI is involved in helping that they financed and they helped with the uh, festival distribution worldwide of that film. Can you talk about uh, what the NFI is and your relationship of how people navigate between them and the Norwegian Film Commission? The Norwegian Film Institute is the main uh, financing body for, Norwe for Norwegian films. Um, they have roughly about 60, 70 million US, which, which is mainly goes to Norwegian language productions. It also they also have a separate fund for international co-productions. And the Film Institute is also the, uh, helping Norwegian films travel abroad uh, to come to festivals. To, and we have seen a six-fold increase in Norwegian uh, international uh, distribution. And, it's, and uh, with the great work of Norwegian directors and also with the uh, backing by the Norwegian Film Institute, um, we see that Norwegian films are performing really well internationally now. Absolutely, and, and I, I know you also represent Bergen. Uh, can you talk about where Bergen is in relationship to Norway? Yeah, Bergen is in the southwest area. Uh, Norway is split up in uh, six different regions, which ESA, which ESA has its own um, regional film fund. And um, Bergen area is, has the biggest regional film fund, and we see uh, a lot of projects coming in to shoot in... Uh, yeah, in, in the mountains and the fjord and the uh, spectacular scenery. And, and are there any major studio films that uh, kind of represent Norway or that most people would, if you mention the name, they'd be like, oh my gosh, that was Norway? Well, we certainly hope that there's a film called Ex Machina. It's um, a film starring Oscar Isaacs and Alicia Vikander and Domhnall Gleeson. It's coming here to the U.S. in, um, in April, also opening in uh, South by Southwest. It's a fantastic film. I, I love the project. It's all exteriors are shot in, uh, in Norway, and uh, interiors has been done in Pinewood Studios in London. And um, they're really showcasing this beautiful, beautiful uh, area of uh, Norway called um, Sundmøre, which is where we find uh, the most alpine mountains. 
Uh, and Norway in this film is actually doubling as Alaska. So we can also, we also double for Alaska, Greenland, Russia, Siberia, the Arctic areas from time to time. Well, that's great. And, and I, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard that uh, the Disney movie Frozen, uh, they came to Norway and they studied the landscape and they took photos and then that became the animation. Is that true or not so true? Yeah, that's true. They, were, they came to Norway to find inspiration and uh, that's sort of where they, uh, a lot of the areas you see in, in Frozen is actually, uh, um, actually taken directly from the Norwegian fjords. Uh, and uh, Disney entered in a partnership with um, Innovation Norway, which is Nor Norway's tourism body. And they entered a, um, a major uh, marketing uh, partnership, which brought that film out uh, to the success it has become. Well, that's great. Is there anything else that you want filmmakers to know about Norway or shooting in Norway or why they should visit Norway? I think they need no reason. Uh, just it's just to come and uh, contact us, and we will help uh, to connect them with uh, producers and with uh, with the country and to find production partners and, and funding. That's fabulous. Thank you so much. Thanks.